Welcome back guys and <laughs> hey guys welcome back to another quick form video and today's video we're talking again T-Mobile and how they just keep adding fees onto more more things especially their service and other surcharges let's get into it what they're talking about uh, where before you could get you know around this charge but now you can't um, so let's get into it guys and uh, talk about it so like I said it's as everybody knows economy is not going too too well I guess um, a lot of big companies have been cutting jobs and also been laying off people. Well, same thing, I guess, <laughs> and doing cutbacks, should I say. So laying off people, doing cutbacks, trying to, you know, uh, make as much money as possible. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, hard times might be coming. So, but let's get into it, guys. Uh, that's enough of me rambling about, but it says T-Mobile ads automatic surcharge and customers have no choice but to pay up. So just saying that they're adding these charges and basically there's no way around it anymore where before you could uh, go around it. But there is a way, I believe, for current customers to do it. And we'll look into that in just a little bit. So it says T-Mobile customers will soon have to fork over some extra cash as the company has added an automatic surcharge. It says most mobile carriers have some sort of fee for activating new phones. And that is true. Even prepaid carriers have the same fee, guys. I think like, I don't know, the Cricket and Metro and Boost, maybe it's $25 or something like that. But everybody has this kind of fee. So it says T-Mobile customers have to pay $35 for activating new devices. Wow. So I'm curious, I can see like say 25 or 30, but 35. And they're really trying to squeeze everything they got. So it says T-Mobile uses, uh, T-Mobile used to call this an assisted support charge. So maybe, you know, basically for them helping you out. So and customers could get around it by activating their own phones at home on the web. So before guys, uh, if you went to a store, you would get charged this $35 um, assisted support charge, basically almost like an activation fee. It's saying, hey, we're charging $35 for, for us helping you out. Um, but, but you know, if you did it yourself, you order through online, which a lot of carriers do do it. If you order online and you activate yourself at home, you got your own help. Uh, which is you, so there's no charge for that. But now they're like, yeah, forget that. Everybody's going to get charged. Um, it says, however, the ASC has been replaced with the device connection charge or the DCC fee. Ooh. The DCC applies to those connecting new devices. So it doesn't matter, phones, tablets, I guess, and stuff like that, to the network, regardless of its if it's done at the store or the customer does it on their own. So now, even if you order online, you still got to get charged that fee. So uh, might as well just take it to the store and let someone help you out if if you need help with it, which, you know, my ger generation doesn't really need help with it. Uh, they can do it themselves. So, uh, but, you know, older generation or people that are just not, uh, you know, uh, technically inclined, I can see them doing this. But since this uh, costs $35 for each activation, guys. So like I said, it doesn't really surprise me that the whole industry is going to activation fees. Might as well just call it an activation fee because it is $35 to connect, you know, tablets, hotspots, home internet, uh, probably. Um, maybe not the home internet, but um, cell phones and everything. Yeah, 35 bucks. It says, luckily, SIM card swaps for the existing device will be exempt from the charge. So uh, it says, SIM card swaps for the existing device, of course, will be exempt. The US Sun has reached out to T-Mobile for more information on the fee, um, but it says, a rewarding offer. The news isn't all bad for T-Mobile customers as the company has launched a new reward program in partnership with Rewards Network. As part of T-Mobile Tuesday dinner, dinner, diners, uh, dinner, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, it's really early in the morning, guys. Can get 11% cash back through January 6, 2024. Wow. So 11 cash, 11% 11 cash back is not, it's not bad. Like I said, sorry, it's kind of early in the morning. I always make these before I go to work, so it's really early. <laughs> It says all all they have to do is link their payment card to a program to the program to start earning rewards. There are more than thirty thousand locations participating in the program. Customers need to have a T-Mobile Money debit card to participate. So customers will need to have the T-Mobile uh, Money debit card, uh, which then you'll link to your bank account. Uh, when they link the card to the war, reward program, they'll get six percent back on their bill. Whoa. But on Tuesdays, um, of course, you know, go out to eat or whatever, they will get an extra uh, 5% off, bringing it to 11%. Whoa, that's pretty good, honestly. So 
I don't even think any card does that. Most cards do one and a half, one, or should I say one, one and a half, or two percent? But geez, eleven percent is pretty good. Closing shops. So of course, like I said, I was just talking earlier about you know cutbacks and stuff. Well, T-Mobile, you know, even though they're the third largest cell phone carrier in the United States. They're making a lot of cutbacks. So it says all of it, all of this comes as a cell phone company shuts down its flagship store in the Union Square section of San Francisco um, over a month ago. There are no plans to reopen this location. Um, so the San Francisco Gate reported. Um, we recently reshaped our retail strategy, a spokesman for T-Mobile told the outlet in a statement. Employees have been offered roles within the company. So even though they got laid off, uh, they're saying, hey, uh, we offer them jobs in, within the company. But, you know, if you have a high paying job and they offer you a sales position, uh, let's say if you're a manager and you're going to sales, you're probably going to take it. You know, it's a big pay cut. Um, several San Francisco shops face similar realities, including uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, um, uh, Anthropology, and Nordstrom, which have all shut down. So, ooh. Says lack of enforcement against rampant crim criminal activity. That's another thing in California, man. People are stealing stuff. <laughs> it's to blame for the closure. Mall operator Westfield told the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, retailers and businesses are leaving the area due to unsafe conditions for customers, retailers, and employees. Wow. So, and like I said, um, it's causing lots of issues with the, the recovery in the area. So, not bad at all. But... That's just a little bit more information, but overall, like I said, what do you think? There's a $35 activation fee now uh, applied to to every activation. Like I said, it doesn't matter if uh, you're going in there to activate a tablet or you're upgrading or anything like that. Like I said before, you can just do it from home or online, get it shipped to your house, and that was it. But now, that's not the case. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. A lot more videos coming your way. Um, yeah, guys, sorry. I've been kind of lacking... I got some stuff in the works. It's just, you know, it's uh, been pretty chaotic here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just have to get back on the horse and uh, get some phones in, finally, or some new phones. Uh, like I said, it's been tough. Like I said, it's been tough for everybody. So, um, yeah. But let's see what we can do about that. Um, but, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. For real, I do try to read them now. Uh, like I said, I've been super busy. It just... Summer's coming, vacation's coming, you know, work and everything. Um, super chaotic. Um, and, uh, yeah, but like I said, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to uh, read it. And if you want to support the channel, check out the description below. It does help me tremendously if you check it out. Like I said, I got Honey and other sponsors and stuff like that. So check it out, guys. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.